So when are we going to change? When are we going to change? And whilst we were eating our lunch, I observed another practice, which has become a norm today. We were eating with our hands, right? So when the time came to take a drink, the brothers took the glass in their right hand, in their left hand, put their right hand underneath and started to drink. I said, wait brothers, hold on, hold on here, hold on. It has become so much of a practice and a habit that one of the brothers, he went and washed his hands, came back to the table, and he wanted to drink, he still picked it up with the left hand and put the right hand underneath. <laughs> so much of a habit that he, you know, drinking with the left is a norm. But Rasulullah said, do not drink with your left. Clear. And we openly disobey him. So it's no surprise when the Prophet had said, Kullu ummati al -jannah. All of my nation is going to enter paradise. Everybody's good with that one, right? Yeah, all Muslims are going to paradise. He said, Illa man abba. He didn't stop there. Except for those who refuse. And of course the companions asked him, who, who would refuse to go to paradise? And he said, Man ata'ani dakhal al jannah. Whoever obeys me will enter paradise. Wa man asani faqad aba. And whoever disobeys me has refused. And this is something so basic. We're not talking about rocket science here. We're talking about something so basic. We eat and we drink three times a day. Can't we get it right? If we're not getting that right, something so basic as this, what is the hope for change? Progress, what is the hope? Where is the hope? Can you imagine a Sahabi drinking with his left hand? It's unthinkable. Unthinkable. But now for us it's a norm. And it's not just here, it's all over. I met it all over the world. And you know who began it? Shaitan. <laughs> this is the sunnah of shaitan. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad said, do not drink with your left hand because Satan drinks with his left. It is the sunnah of shaitan. So Satan's sunnah has become the norm for the mass of Muslims. One million 1 billion, 1.7 billion Muslims across the world. Happily following the sunnah of Satan. So when do we change? When does progress kick in? It's not going to happen until we take this deen seriously. Till we take Islam as a way of life. Not rituals and customs and traditions that our foreparents did, our community does. Until we get past those rituals and we take on Islam as that way of life about which we speak all the time. But it's not real, it's just words. Until we take it on seriously, there will be no real progress. There will be no real change. Alhamdulillah, there is an awakening taking place in different parts of the Muslim Ummah. This is real. In spite of our situation, in spite of our ignorance, clinging on to false traditions and, and customs, etc., in spite of all of that, there is an awakening. Muslims are awakening. 
But the forces that oppose Islam are working harder and harder, becoming more and more vicious to try to stop this awakening. But if we don't grab on to the Quran and the Sunnah with our molars, the way the Prophet ﷺ described, bite on to it with your molars, that's your back teeth. Don't let it go. Unless we do that, then the awakening will be sabotaged.